Real estate has all these big terms. Sometimes it's difficult to know what everyone is talking about. So I'm here to clear it up for you. Hey, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a residential real estate broker with John L. Scott in Renton, Washington and the surrounding areas. Today we're going to talk about what is a contingency, specifically in a real estate transaction. So what is a contingency? A contingency is a condition in a purchase and sale contract that must be fulfilled by a buyer in order to proceed with the purchase and closing of a house. So basically, a contingency allows a buyer to get out of a contract and to obtain a refund of their earnest money deposit if a certain condition is not fulfilled. Contingencies are added into a purchase and sale contract to protect a buyer. They are important to a seller to pay attention to because they are a way for a buyer to get out of a purchase and sale contract and no longer purchase the home. So until all the contingencies are satisfied, the sale for the seller's home is not secure. There are several contingencies that can be added to a purchase and sale agreement. The most common ones are a financing contingency, an inspection contingency, a title contingency, an appraisal contingency, the sale of a property contingency, or there are septic and well contingencies as well. Please be sure to watch my upcoming videos for more in-depth explanation of each of these contingencies. They will be coming out weekly in the future. If you are a buyer, contingencies are not mandatory. They are there for you as a buyer to discover facts about the property prior to closing and to protect your earnest money. Now, if you do not include any contingencies in the contract, the buyer still has the right to terminate the agreement, but would be at jeopardy of losing their earnest money or seller's elections of remedies, whatever is marked on the purchase and sale agreement. For a buyer, the more contingencies means the more protection from unknowns. But in some situations, there are advantages to buyers to not use contingencies. You will definitely want to discuss the pros and cons with your agent. If you are a seller, the less contingencies in the offer to purchase your home, the better. Contingencies create outs for buyers and doubt in the sale. If this was helpful, please post a thumbs up in the comments below and like and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time.